Hello friends. So welcome to Vita Day 14. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about something a little bit on the nerdier side, uh, which is fine for me because I am totally a nerd. Um, so a couple months ago I read this book called Flatland, which basically is about um, people on like a two-dimensional plane that just like live only in two dimensions. And it talks about, like, how they live and blah, 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 weird stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, and then, at one point, the main character gets brought up into the third dimension. And so he suddenly is experiencing this whole new realm of things. And before, you know, everything was just flat. And all of a sudden, he's brought up and, like, moved around and stuff. And so it's crazy for him. Um, and I also saw, like, a, an animated short that was based off of the book, which was, uh, it was okay at best it's good it was all good and thought-provoking but the quality of the animation wasn't great but the the reason i bring this up now is because in the animation when they put him back down he was actually backwards so before like let's say he was like a pac-man like this and they put him down like this where he used to be the other way around so now his entire world was backwards and they didn't really touch on that too much but it was just sort of something that i noticed from the animation and so after i saw this and after i read this uh, I had a discussion with one of my roommates about, you know, if that can happen in two dimensions. So let's say, what if that happened, you know, to us living in the third dimension? Let's say we were somehow brought out into the fourth dimension and then flipped around some way and put back into the third dimension, but backwards. Um, so we thought about this for a while. Like, how exactly would that work? Would it work the same way? Because in, in two dimensions, like, let's say he was just like a circle guy, you know, you can flip him around and there's only one backwards way to go. So we're like, all right, so in the third dimension, if you take us out, is there like an extra way? Can you go backwards two different ways? And after thinking about that for a while, we figured there's probably only one way that you can be backwards. And so basically from your perspective, you would still feel the same. Um, but from other people's perspective, you know, if you're right-handed and then you get turned around, so now you're going to be writing with your left hand, uh, the world around you, every, like all letters and things would be backwards. So everyone else would be seeming to read from left to from right to left, and letters would be backwards and things like that. Um, sitting down at a keyboard would be really weird because if you're used to typing, you know, you have like ASDF on this hand, well now ASDF is going to be on that hand. Like It's just a mirror image. Like everything around you would be a mirror image. And so you would just like freak out and it would be really weird. Um, but anyway, me and him talked about this for hours and like all the random implications and stuff like that. And then I was excited about it, so I talked to some guys at work the next day and, you know, they thought it was pretty cool, too. But then one guy who knew biology just come up, came up to me and said, you know, if that happens, you would just die. Because the proteins in your body, or the parts of your cells or whatever that take in proteins, they're three-dimensional shapes that are supposed to fit specific proteins. So now if they're, like, reversed, and the proteins don't fit right, and you die, like, within minutes of coming back. Like, you probably wouldn't even be able to breathe the air because it wouldn't fit in your lungs, right? Really weird stuff. Theoretical, not actually possible as far as I know. Um, but it's fun to think about. Um, and I guess that's all I got for you today. I think that stuff's really fun to think about. Um, if you have any other weird, like crazy, like border physics kind of stuff, um, leave me some comments in the comments section. I'd love to hear more stuff, like talk about that kind of thing. That'd be great. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.